Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. Today I'll be talking about a medication known as demyclocycline. Demyclocycline. Okay, let's go. Demyclocycline belongs to a class of medication known as antibiotics. A tetracycline and quaterpiene in forms of tablets as 150 milligrams or 300 milligrams, either generic or not. Uses as an antibiotic for treatment of infection. Also very useful in treating syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Treatment of acne, acnomycosis, amebiasis, anthrax, cholera, shigellosis, clostridium species infection, listeriosis, chlamydia, trachomatis, conjunctivitis, plague, lapsing fever, respiratory tract infection, acacia infections, infogranuloma venereum, gonorrhea, syphilis, skin infections, Pistacosis. Adverse reactions include pericarditis, dizziness, headache, pseudotumors rebri inalos, erythema multiforme, articaria, nephrogeny diabetes insipidus. Still on adverse reactions, then to discoloration in keys is one of those reasons why we don't prescribe it in children, particularly in any child less than eight years old. I will talk more about that in a bit. Nausea and vomiting, pancreatitis, hypersensitivity, on account of which you may be dealing with anaphylaxis, angioedema, Stephen Johnson syndrome, or toxic abdominal necrolysis. Increased liver enzymes, super infection, tinnitus, acute kidney injury or acute renal failure, hyperuricemia, and of course, exacerbation of Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome. You can check my channel for Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome, pulmonary infiltrates. Thyroid dysfunction and hepatotoxicity. Contraindications. The phase of hypersensitivity to the meclocycline or tetracyclines or any complaint of the formulation, the meclocycline should not be used. In severe renal failure, no demeclocycline. Also, in severe hepatic failure. One, individuals on the microcycling can't operate machines and they can't function in any capacity that requires alertness. Why that? Because of mental and physical ability impairment. So that warning should be given. So not for someone driving or someone operating forklift. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is a possibility but that would turn out to be an advantage in hyponatremia associated with syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Anti-anabolic effect of the methylcycline will increase blood urea nitrogen. Therefore, in renal failure, the use of the methylcycline is contraindicated. Pseudotumors rebri or intracranial abstention is possible. And skin protection is required. And advice should be given that individuals on this medication should no longer be exposed to sunlight for a long period of time so as to prevent photosensitivity. For long use, might lead to superimposed fungal infection. 
There is an entity known as pseudomembranal colitis, on account of which there will be diarrhea if you are on antibiotics per aura. And that is likely going to occur here. Hepatic impairment or renal impairment needs to be taken into account before use. Drug drug interaction. My best advice here is to contact the pharmacist or clinical pharmacologist in your jurisdiction. Why that? Okay. I will not be able to exhaust the possible drug drug interaction here. And because I will not be able to predict the type of medication you have probably been placed upon before the microcycling, or that you might be placed upon after or concomitantly while on the microcycling. So, contacting the pharmacist or clinical pharmacologist will survive. Okay, I want to go over some examples or scenarios when we can use demyclocycline. For example, if we are dealing with infection, particularly bacterial infection, we can use demyclocycline 150 milligram per hour four times daily, or demyclocycline 300 milligram per hour twice daily. In the face of syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, demyclocycline could be used in higher dosage from 600 milligram to 1,200 milligram per hour per day. However, the use of demicrocycline to treat syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone is not acceptable in Europe. So, discuss with a pharmacist in your jurisdiction or clinical pharmacologist as per the use of demicrocycline to handle syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, but in Europe, it is unacceptable. In pediatric age group, when it comes to treatment of infection, demicrocycline is not commonly used. And even those who we administer demicrocycline, it is going to be done only in children greater than eight years. And as a matter of fact, I don't even prescribe any tetracyclines to any child. But if at all needed, then use docycycline, minocycline, or tetracycline. In other words, avoid the microcycline in children as much as you can. Administration. Demicrocycline could be given per hour, one hour before food or milk. Okay, one hour before. Or you could give it per hour two hours after food or after milk. In other words, you don't give demicrocycline the same time with food or with milk. No. And per oral ejection should be given with generous fluid. So let the patient drink lots of water with demyclocycline. Why that? To reduce oesophageal irritation and oesophageal ulceration. Some people develop dysphagia secondly to per oral pills administration. This is an example. Okay. And with that, I've come to the end of this presentation. Please remember to subscribe, remember to share. I appreciate it.